I'm going to show you how to use a simple sewing machine and embroider designs on your sleeves like this in a fairly easy way. You'll need something with sleeves, a sewing machine, a free motion foot, a design, and embroidery stabilizer. Your finished product will look something like this. To start, first you have to put the design that you want to create on your sleeve. One way to do it is to draw it on with fabric pens. Instead, I decided to use a stencil. I created a simple design that I liked and cut it out on my Cricut. I made two identical stencils, one for each sleeve. The design can go anywhere you like. I chose to put it on the outside of the sleeve. There was a natural crease there to guide me. I turned the sweatshirt inside out. I cut some embroidery stabilizer to about the same size as my stencil. In this case, I used tearaway stabilizer. There, inside the sleeve, I ironed on the embroidery stabilizer. Turn it right side out again. On the outside of the sleeve, I put the stencil to guide me when sewing. I started it near the shoulder and it ran down to about the elbow. You'll need to attach a free motion quilting foot to your machine. Any one of these will work. Then lower your feed dogs and remove the flat bed attachment of your machine so that you can fit the sleeve onto your machine. Carefully pull your sleeve onto your machine Set the stitch to some type of zigzag stitch. A width of 4 mm to 6 mm will do. The length won't matter because the feed dogs are down. Go slowly and fill in your design with short strokes, just like you're coloring with a colored pencil or marker. In this case, your hands are moving the cloth instead of a pen moving back and forth over paper. Take the sleeve off of the machine. Peel off your stencil. If you have tearaway stabilizer, you can remove it now. After all that work, I didn't want the stitches to come back out. So I went over the entire piece again quickly, just to make sure all the stitches would stay in. If you want the same pattern on the other sleeve, line up the sleeves and place the stencil down on the new sleeve. Now your work is done. If you have questions or suggestions, please enter them into the comments below. Thanks for watching.